The World's Fair is a trade union with the state. That means nobody gets to secede from the union except for the privileged. There are months of October that genuflect the ability to celebrate holidays on these seasons. So there is the National Victorian Day, the National Elizabethan Day, and the National Augustian Day. So the Victorian Day is what allows people to celebrate privilege. If privilege exists in Victoria, that means old people are hopeful. Hope is the source of Victorian ethic, ethics, which means they don't demonstrably seduce evil anymore. They actually hope that people will die evilly. That means not only must they attack, they must specialize in attacking themselves. So if the evil still persists, they will continue to concentrate assets towards removing these things. So then there's the Elizabethan holiday. The Elizabethan holidays are the sacred acts of removal. So under sacred acts of removal, they have double hemispheres of doubt for all quadrants. That means there is a removal of an X and a removal of a Y, and that's fascism. Fascism allows people to remove XY chromosomes because it dismantles the state under Nazism. So if one of them is removed, not only does both persist, that means one X and one Y has to be replaced. So if you replace a chromosome, not only do you dismantle unification with your species, the species becomes pretenders of their own. That means they don't compromise with other people, they compromise with themselves. So, not only does the Augustian age allow for this to happen, but it recommends that blood is introduced to it. That means it allows people to dismantle the engineering of such faculty. So engineering is a worship act rather than a state act, and state acts are worship acts. So this revolutionary ethic is what allows people to compromise the efficiency of the regarded statements of the past times they celebrate. So they celebrate the idea that there's going to be a revival or rebirth. So if they don't revive one another, then they will be rebirthed as a whole. And this is the phoenix effect of death cult, that people die for the sake of preserving liberty.